Hey guys, welcome to another episode. It's been a couple of weeks since my last one because as you can tell, we have moved house. No, I didn't paint the wall orange. It was like that when I got here. So today I'm gonna to talk about hiring your first employee. So when do you hire your first employee? For me, when I was uh, starting out the business and starting out contracting, I didn't want to get complacent. So I was asking people about the next step already. So that for me was hiring an employee and detaching my time away from the amount of money that I made. I think ultimately it's about switching it from a service to a product. So that's probably the end goal. But in the early stages, I was asking about how do people employ, when do they employ? I remember someone saying that they employed someone when they had enough money and they had some admin tasks, or paid the minimum wage and got them in pretty, pretty soon. For me, I've been lucky enough to hire Tom a couple of months ago. I think I was always a bit reluctant to do it because I know there's a bit of a responsibility of not only on me for paying my rent, but also now him and his wages being paid. So rather than seeing it as an expense, but see it as an investment, then that really helped me. If I do this, it's gonna provide much, much more opportunity than it will take away. So I need to frame it in a positive way to go ahead with it. I also felt Tom's skill set was right for what I wanted. So right now it's about finding new work and finding new projects and a marketing manager can take care of all of that and manage that and get some new leads. Other people have said that kind of the people or the first type of employee could be someone admin. It could be someone that does your accounts. And for me, I've always wanted someone in the marketing content creation. So Tom was the first one. I'm then thinking about a writer to write copy um, for not only blog posts to up my backlinks and SEO and some uh, shareable content on my site, but also for the copy within the tweets, within Facebook, everything needs to be tailored. Right now I'm automating everything as a kind of like a step one, but that's not where I want to stop. I wanna carry on iterating and get better at that. And then thirdly, other people have said video production or a video editor or basically a marketing intern of sorts. So that's the kind of who you might want to get for your first employee. I think once you have hired that person, it's really important to start documenting processes. So then once they've kind of grown out of that role, someone else can take that and it'll be a handover where the process is document. And that document's a living document, so it changes over time. When Tom joined, I needed to create a processes document to hand to him. And that was about the way that I created these YouTube videos, for example, or this podcast. And I would just list out, okay, I use this app and I use iMovie to edit it really, really quickly. And I put in some slides and sometimes I put in some labels and make sure you put the labels in the middle because when I use it to put on um, portrait for Instagram TV and it's like different and, and just started to document all this stuff that stuck in my head that I needed to get out. And now that document is much, much more flushed out. And even the detail of using your Mac to export the audio only to upload it to Anchor. So just, just everything. And what I wanna do is create more of these documents, um, processes documents, not only for our internal stuff, but also to hand them out. So the next one uh, we created a couple of weeks ago was how we automate social media and the tools that we currently use to do that stuff. So things like Later or Buffer, or um, kind of the apps that will suggest content or the apps that will help you make good content. So like Unsplash is a good app for just great images. So yeah, we're starting to build out this empire of documentation so we can hand it down to the next person. And that means that it's not one person that holds all the information in. We're very much wanting to share. And I think once you've kind of got the employee in, just document things so then that information could be passed down keeping an employee, I'm wanting to flip the hierarchy around. So rather than the employees making the boss happy, I want the uh, boss to make the employee happy. So I was very intentional about asking Tom, okay, I like the fact that you've come to work for me. I feel like it's probably loyalty rather than anything else because we're family right now, but that's not a bad thing. But I want to make sure that this rewards you back. What do you want out of this? Do you want money? Do you want to be able to manage someone? Do you want to work on particular projects? Do you want to be close to clients? Do you want to be in the client meetings or, or whatever those things are? Very much be really honest and have that chat. 
about what makes them tick and then try and feed things into that. So for me, <laughs> Tom said all of those things. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm not micromanaging, that I'm delegating responsibility and giving him the reins over things and encouraging him and really building him up with confidence. So for me, I'm trying to encourage like utter creativity of anything, like anything can happen. Let's share all those ideas and yes, maybe we'll do them. I think it's still important to stay focused in like, okay, let's do very creative ideas in a lead gen. So I was thinking, I had a dentist client recently and I was thinking that I should probably send them a gift at some point, which is a tooth that's like a lamp and I engrave um, shine bright like a Ryland and then I have my website on it or something or some logo on it and send it to them. So then when they receive it, hopefully they'll snap on their social media to be like, hey, this is what I received from this person. And whether or not that could create some leads. So I've not found a tooth lamp properly yet, um, but that's kind of some of the things that I'm looking at. Hopefully you have found that useful. It'd be great to know what you were thinking when you hired your first employee. So feel free to um, to tweet me at Real Dan Ryland or leave a comment or, um, or yeah, send a pigeon. Shine bright like a Ryland. Bye.